So let's now summarize finally. Summarize our FIR filter design by windowing. So the first thing what we do is we define our ideal frequency response. Frequency response. So this can be either A just analytically or B that we are setting a discrete frequency spectrum. Discrete frequency spectrum. That we are using this in our discrete inverse Fourier transform. So once we have defined this, we do the inverse Fourier transform. So this can be either A analytically just by defining our integral or B we just using the inverse discrete Fourier transform or the inverse fast Fourier transform. So once we've got that then 3 we might need to mirror the impulse response usually this is not required because we are creating symmetry already through our Fourier transform condition to have it real so then 4 so in case we have our IDFT the IDFT result Reshuffle impulse response. Remember the order is wrong. So then step five is window the impulse response. So for example, with, with a humming window, with a humming window, and then 6, we need to make sure that this is in positive time, so shift the impulse response in positive time so to obtain our coefficients so that at the end we have here m is our number of coefficients and this is here m half and this is here our h of n our shifted h of n that this is here sitting like that. It's have this nice window that is becoming zero on the edges here. And so these here becoming our coefficients here. And then read out coefficients. And um put them onto the FIR filter. On the FIR filter. So that's it. Seven simple steps.